In November of 2008, the people of Johnson County did something that had never been done. Knowing that investments in universities were crucial to the county's continued excellence, they passed a sales tax to fund higher education and scientific research. Johnson County citizens created what is called the Johnson County Education and Research Triangle. Each year, around $15 million is now funding education and research that will change the world. The first step that we had to have was a piece of enabling legislation because this has never been done before. Getting it to the legislature was a huge, huge effort. The thing that saved us in the legislature was Senator Barbara Allen, who was a cancer survivor. She was chairman of the Senate Tax Committee, and she carried the bill with passion. We got it through the legislature, signed by the governor, in the first year. We then needed to have the Johnson County Commission put the issue on the ballot for us. The vote was six to one to put it on the November ballot. Fred Logan, who had managed a number of campaigns for education in Johnson County, agreed to be the campaign chairman. I just felt that it was such a compelling idea. It would be such a great thing for Johnson County and the entire region. I agreed to be one of the, the, the co-chairs along with Karen Brownlee of the campaign. She saw the benefit to Johnson County of putting this together. Initially my thought was, well, it's a new tax. How will people feel about that? But the voters were going to have the opportunity to speak to the tax. And as it developed, it became stronger and stronger, just what a positive thing this would be for our area. At the Triangle's western point, scientists at the Kansas State Aletha Innovation Campus would be focused on animal health, food safety, and security. At the southern point, a thousand more students and 10 new degree programs would be added thanks to the KU Edwards campus's new business engineering science and technology building. And at the Triangle's northeastern point in Fairway, the KU Clinical Research Center would be one of the country's most innovative clinical trial facilities. The foundation uh, made a commitment of $50 million to the life sciences. As part of that $50 million commitment, we were able to purchase two buildings, one of which was given to the medical center for the clinical trials building. And it's really the first time, in my view, that Missouri institutions got involved in a major way uh, in a campaign on the, on the Kansas side of the state line. Fred Logan was very careful. He always kept the polling to himself. Uh, he never let anyone else know how the polling was going, and so we were always running hard. The only time that my confidence was shaken a little bit was in October before the election when Johnson County experienced a historic, a record drop in consumer confidence of 30 points. And that's why I just think it's just a particularly powerful statement about Johnson County voters that they still voted overwhelmingly in favor of the proposal with a bad economy, with consumer confidence down. They voted uh, almost 58% yes for this unique proposal. This is unprecedented, and I tell people they don't understand exactly how big a gift this is. If you take the $15 million that's generated from the tax and you turn that into an endowment, that takes $300 million to generate $15 million a year. $300 million at the time was the seventh largest gift in the history of American higher education. So the enormity of this uh, can never be understated. To our knowledge, uh, this had never been, never been done. The authority has always looked at it as being an opportunity presented by the taxpayers to support the Clinical Trial Center in their research activities regards to innovative uh, and new drug development and bringing those new drugs to market. So there's an economic development component, but there's also a very strong human caring component. I do think that uh, there are an awful lot of people, even in Johnson County, that to this day don't recognize you know, what they've done and how transformative it's going to be to this region, to the entire area of Kansas City. I think we are going to become a major center for translational research in the life sciences. Kansas scientists will be able to test drugs developed at the University of Kansas that previously had to be tested somewhere else. Patients will have access to state-of-the-art therapies, and by participating in these clinical trials, patients are helping to improve treatments and cures for future generations. What phase one clinical trials means to us is that this will be the first testing of humans 
of discoveries and hopefully most of those clinical trials patients will be Kansans and people from the Midwest. It came out that, you know, what a unique thing this was for our county to have passed a tax to support this kind of research. It was very unique and, and I think uh, pace setting for the rest of the country. I am not a science person, so I, I, I understand the concept of the clinical trials, but the idea that we're doing it here, there's going to be new drugs, uh, new, new chemotherapy treatments, uh, new ideas that will, will make for a healthier country and might save my life, might save my children's life. Uh, it's a pretty cool deal. I think this is the most significant thing I've ever been involved in in my life and will in, uh, in the long run make a real difference, uh, not only for the community, not only for bricks and mortar, but in people's lives.